wise saying goes, life is like a box of Legos. And I understand that most people would say chocolate, but I'm going with my version for the sake of the speech. In all seriousness, when I was a really little kid, my favorite toys were Legos. I know that was really typical for a kid my age, but I utilized them differently. I was never into buying the Lego sets with instructions for how to build the perfect Millennium Falcon or Empire State Building, because my creativity was limited. Instead, I enjoyed making anything I could by connecting all these random pieces, because the possibilities were endless. What I did with those endless possibilities, more often than not, was make this ugly blob of abstraction that I'm sure my parents and they pretend to be proud of me, but that's not really the point. Uh, where I'm going with this is that the ideal middle school experience is like a box full of Legos that you get to connect yourself. Now, am I comparing junior high to an ugly blob of abstraction that my parents aren't proud of? No. Uh, my point is that in seventh and eighth grade, we are all given the same pieces. All of us, here to each of us has an English and a history and a math class, as well as the option of sports or theater or choir, yet all of us are unique. There are the same people in each grade every day, but we have select friends. It's the connections that we choose to make with each other in the world that define us. And if we look on an even larger scale, middle school itself is a labor piece, and a very important one at that. It's the connection between elementary and high school, between childhood and adulthood. That's ignorance to knowledge and innocence to maturity. Some of us still have maturity to work on, we know who we are. <laughs> so, junior high is our introduction to the greater world, and I think that's really special. I mean, but let me backtrack for a second. Have you ever been sitting in science and there's this really abstract problem and you think, what am I ever going to need to know where an objective lens is on a microscope? <laughs> uh, by the way, Ms. Randall, I still know where that is. <laughs> um, I've been in this situation a lot, and I think I finally have microscopic, pun intended, details in each class that are important, is how they all connect. Because it's the skills we learn right now and right here, like how to manage time or thoughtfully answer an important question, that are going to benefit the rest of our lives. After this, we're going to be in high school. Soon we'll have jobs, head off to college, and begin serious careers. So, um, most likely, we won't remember what, where an objective lens is on a microscope, but we'll definitely carry with us all the precious memories, friendships, accomplishments, and expertise that we've learned right now that each class and teacher collectively helped us make. My hope is that when we're all much older, we, that we can look back and appreciate all the major connected little pieces of our lives. And maybe Junior has one of them. And I think when we see what we've built of ourselves with these Lego pieces, though it may not be the perfect Millennium Falcon or Empire State Building, it will be far from an ugly level of abstraction. I trust that each and every one of us will have connected these pieces to make something truly amazing. Thank you.